Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to the basement Dino Dungeon. So today I'm gonna show you guys some new sea animal figurines from Japan that we are going to add to our collection. So let's get started. Okay guys, so let's have a look at this first one. So all of these are actually known as Gashapon. It's basically, you know, like those kind of vending machine figures that you can actually find uh, in Japan. So yeah, it's known as Gashapon. Uh, I got this online from an online store and pretty excited about this. So let's have a look. Let's take a look at um, the leaflet first, okay? Please ignore my fingers because I just done some construction work so at my house so my hands are kind of like dirty. Alright, so you can see, wow, this is basically like different types of sharks. Wow, looks really really awesome. So let's have a look at this first one right here. So it comes with a little bag, so let's cut this open, okay? Let's cut this open. this over and see what's inside it looks like a hammerhead shark to me so I think this one is a pretty cool one so how do we actually assemble this I think this is the bottom of the, the body this is basically the head so you just need to pop in the head like this kind of cute kind of fun yep very nice pop in the tail and I think this it's basically how do we put this right here I, I guess push it right in wow cool very nice so this it's a hammerhead shark very very beautiful I love this a nice really nice hammerhead shark so let's place this one right here okay I'm gonna move all of this away okay next up let's take a look at another one how about this one what is this actually I think this one is a different set. Um, we'll probably open this one. This one seems to be from the same set as well. It seems to be a kind of um, another kind of shark. Seems like a sawfish. Okay. Let's see how we can actually pop this right in. Wow, very nice. I think you just need to squeeze this in. Like this, oh, that's easy. It looks like a sawfish to me, but I'm not exactly sure. If you guys know, you can comment down below and let me know, you know, what this is actually. Let's just pop in the tail. It seems to be a bit hot. So you, I mean, if you are a kid, you may need to have your parents to help you. Um, you, you, you see, I'm um, even, even myself, I'm, I'm struggling, but, but but my mom is actually very far away right now. <laughs> She's staying uh, at a different place, so I need to fix this on my own. Yeah, oh my goodness. This is taking forever. Or, or do we do it like the wrong way? I mean, this is the right way, right? Just pop it in. Come on! You can do this. It's just not working, guys. It's just not working. I'm gonna pause the video for a while. Okay, finally managed to get it in. So this is basically like a little sawfish right here. I think it looks fantastic, okay? All right, let's put this on right here and let's take a look at another one. How about, let's take a look at this rounder ones right here. Let's pop this open. This seems to be from a different set. Let's take a look at this little um, leaflet right here. Um, wow, what is this? I think this is a sperm whale or harp back whale. We have a beluga whale, and what is this? This seems to be a Commerson's Island Dolphin. They have put the scientific name, but we don't really know. Um, yeah, Commerson's Dolphin. This is the Commerson's Dolphin. Very nice. It comes with, you know, the facts, which is, which is really, really nice. So let's cut this open. Commerson's Island Dolphin. Wow. Let's get this out. So it comes with a stand. Very nice. So let's pop in the stand. And I think you have to like pop this right in. So it becomes like a mini 
um, you know, mini little figure, a mini statuette, very, very beautiful, really nice. Commerson's Dolphin. I think we, we have to keep this little sheet right here. It basically, you know, gives some facts. Really nice, there's six to collect. So we have a Hammerhead Shark, we have a Commerson's Dolphin. Yeah, very nice, very excited about this. Let's um open up another one. Let's open this one, the round one. And this time, let's see what we have got. Let's see. We have um, the Beluga Wheel. Uh, too bad it is actually in Japanese, so I have no idea what is written. But I think it's fine. You can see this Beluga looks so pretty, so cute. So let's have a look at this. There's six to collect, but I don't think we have six of them. Yep, so this one also comes with a litter stand. So all of these are actually from Takara Tomi Arts, if I'm not wrong. Okay, so let's pop this in. Very nice. And now for the litter stand. So you guys can see this actually looks like a wave. Yeah, very nice. Beluga wheel. Let's open up another one. How about this? Okay, this time I think we've got a wheel. We've got the humpback wheel. Very nice. Humpback wheel. I love humpback wheels. We do have um, a couple of figures. We do have quite a number of figures of a humpback wheel in my collection, so let's have a look. Let's get this out. Pop in the later stand. Humpback wheel is actually easily, easily recognizable because you can see like little bombs on its body. Okay, let me just pop in um, the stand. I really love the fact that, you know, every figure actually comes with a really, really beautiful stand. So you can display them like, you know, mini display pieces. I'm not too sure where I can actually display them, to be honest with you. Alright, maybe I'm gonna put it in uh, my shelf right here. I don't think I'll be putting them into the boxes. I'm gonna display that in my shelf because it looks so, so cute. Okay, next up, let's have a look at this. Well, I think this is another shark. This one seems to be the great white shark. So I'm pretty excited about this. Let's have a look. Yeah, I'm, I mean, if you guys ask me which one, it's actually my most favorite. Um, um, how do we fix this? Oh my goodness. This seems to be really, really tough. I think this one is simple. Um, the mouth. Do we fix it like this? Yeah, probably. Probably. I think this, this, this little figures, they are so cool. Takara Tomi arts figures are always very, very amazing. I mean, in case that you guys do not know. I'm a huge fan of um, Takara Tomi um, figures. Yeah, very nice. You can actually adjust the mouth. So the tail is like movable. Yeah, very, very nice. I, I love it. Such a beautiful figure. So that's basically our great white shark. Let's open up another one. Wow, what is this? I... I can't remember the name. It seems like a goblin shark, some sort of a goblin shark. Um, do you guys know what type of shark this is? I totally can't remember. So if you guys can let me know what type of shark this is, that will be really helpful. I'll be eternally grateful to you, okay? Please comment down below. Oh, it also comes with a diver, guys. That's really nice. Very nice. So yeah, I can't. Re I don't remember the name of this shark. So I really, really need the help of you guys. Maybe let me refer to my 
um, shocks um, broke. You just give me a second, guys. Just give me a second. Okay. We do have a little mini shocks set right here. I think they should have um, the names of the different shocks right there. So we have the saw shock, which is right here. Thrasher shock, we definitely know whale shock, tiger shock, which is the scariest. Oh, oh dear, this is the wrong side. Why is it like, you know, totally in the wrong direction? Angel shock, I don't think so. Cow shock, I don't think so. Ghost? Swimmer, probably not this. It's not this bullhead shock. No, it's not a bullhead shock. Black tip reef shock. Oh, it's the basking shock. It definitely does not look like a basking shock. Oh, it's the basking shock. Okay, okay, nice, nice. Okay, very nice. I'm gonna put this on right here. Um, yeah. So this is basically the basking shock. Because I, I'm so used to seeing a basking shot with the mouth wide open, so uh, yeah, somehow, you know, I, I couldn't recognize it as a basking shot, but there you go, it's a basking shot. Very cool. Just pop this right in. Alright, so <laughs> this shot looks kind of adorable. Yeah, it looks like, it, it looks like a slime, slime kind of a monster. Yep, very nice. You can move the tail, the head can be moved, the jaw can be moved. So yeah, it's, it's pretty incredible. Nice, very nice. And it comes with a swimmer. That's really nice, a, a diver I mean, okay? So um, let's open up another one. Well, this one is tough to open. Why is it so tough? Okay, so it comes with a another leaflet. So let's see what we've got this time. So the front part is basically the same, but the back it's different. Sperm wheel, nice. Yep, sperm wheel. It's easily recognizable. I just made it like a small little cut right here. Sperm wheel. Okay, so this sperm wheel figure, it's very nice. I'm definitely going to display them in my shelf. I'm gonna show you guys where I intend to display them. I think they're gonna look really good. Sperm wheel. Very nice. So we have one, two, three, four. Four different um, whales and dolphins. This one is probably, let's see, an orca. Yeah, I think most likely it's an orca. So let's have a look at this, this little sheet right here. Yep, an orca, also known as a killer whale, in case that you guys don't know. Very happy with this set of um, sea animal figurines, okay? Very, very happy. Um, yeah, let's have a look. Wow. It's in a very nice and um, kind of unusual pose because you seldom see like all cars with the fins like, you know, really like wide open. So I think they've done a really nice job to capture this all car in a very very nice and unique pose very cool i really love the stand every stand looks so great so basically there are four shocks for us to collect and then there is um four six whales and dolphins so what is this this is basically i think this has got to be a bottlenose dolphin let's have a look wow the illustration is just so pretty Let's have a look. Bottlenose dolphin. Yeah, that's right. I can actually recognize and read some words right here because I'm able to read Chinese. And um, Japanese text, some of them actually 
contains Chinese word words. So maybe let's see. Yeah, it basically says that it's able to like spurt water. I think. Yeah, very nice. And the entire body, it's um, it's green color. Okay, let's see. Bottlenose dolphin. Very, very nice. Bottlenose dolphin. All right, so yeah, so these are some of my latest collection. I'm gonna sh let's do a quick roundup. So let's take a look at every single um figure right here. So we have a basking shark, you know, with like movable head. The tail can be moved as well. Very beautiful. Uh, very nice like coloration below. This I think it should be a saw shark. I think yeah, saw shark. Very nice as well. It's from Takaratomi Arts. Hammerhead shark, pretty famous shark. You can even like rotate the head. The tail can be moved. Great white. This one looks really, really beautiful. Okay, check this out. You can even open the jaw like this. Probably, I, I think we've, we've got the direction right, I think. Yeah, I think so. Yep, can even move the tail. Very nice. Next. We have this Commerson's Dolphin. We don't have a big figure of a Commerson's Dolphin, but I think we have a couple of um, small ones. And um, this is a Bottlenose Dolphin. I mean, take a look at this stand. It looks very nice. This is the Berluga. We have a Humpback. Sperm Whale. Oops. And an car. Very nice. So a total we a total we have um ten new sea animals, which I'm pretty excited about. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take a few photos for the thumbnail and then I'm gonna put them into my shelf right over there. And I'm gonna show you guys how we are displaying them. Okay, so let's do this together. Let's go. Hey guys, just to show you where I'm actually displaying this new sea animals, okay? I'm actually displaying it with my dinosaurs. Um, shelf, I mean in my dinosaur shelf uh, because we don't really have a shelf dedicated to just sea animals so you can see, yeah, they're looking great looking awesome right here, okay? Alright, thanks for watching this I will see you guys in the next video, goodbye